You're not the only one in your family that's got a film coming out this holiday season. Your that's dad right. landed a film in Licorice Pizza, I believe. Licorice Pizza. Have you my, seen it? How did it happen? I haven't seen it yet, but my dad, George DiCaprio, has a cameo in a Paul Thomas Anderson movie. What? No, Today was a good day. I uh, know. He's playing a, a waterbed salesman, right? That's right. Was that's he right. probably one in real life? He sold waterbeds. Unbelievable. No, you're no. You're no. Your breathing is stressing me out. This will affect the entire planet. I know, but it's like so stressful. We know that you've always been passionate about the fight against climate change. So how much so did that, to the premise of this film, hey, I got to sign on to this project? Absolutely everything, to be yeah. honest. I mean, I'd been looking for a film that could articulate the urgency of the climate crisis. But, you know, when you're talking about an issue like that, that people in a lot of ways feel disconnected from and is something that evolves slowly, from a narrative perspective, how do you create tension and urgency? And Adam really cracked the code with this movie. He made it about a comet hitting planet Earth within eight months and how we as a society, how the media all deal with you know, this sense of urgency. And it was a stroke of genius for him to be able to do a dark comedy similar to Dr. Strangelove about the climate crisis, but put it in this context. One minute you're laughing at the film, the next it's like, whoa. Like I said, it's a dark comedy, but then it takes a real serious turn at the end of the uh, end of the film and has a real powerful message that I hope people will listen to. And the caliber of this cast is next level. It is out of this world. Did you, look, you're top notch yourself, Leo. Thanks. But was there anyone in particular that you're like, I'm having this moment. I'm a little awestruck here. I think as soon as a young woman by the name of Meryl Streep walked onto set, I had, I had got to work with her almost 30 years ago in a film called Marvin's Room, but when she came in as the president, I mean, all of us were on our toes, ready to improvise, <laughs> fully prepared, because she's just a marvel. And Mark Rylance, too, getting to work with him, and of course, my old buddy Jonah, too.